Uh, hello, welcome to Shane for Crafts. My name is Shane, and I want to thank you for tuning in today. Now, today I have something a little different planned. I'm actually still working on my scrapbooking project. Uh, and actually, I'm using one of these for my scrapbooking project. Um, and I wanted to share this with you today because it's a it's a very uh it's a very easy craft to make. You can make a lot of these. You can even sell them and so forth. You know, or you can give them away as gifts, and it, it doesn't cost a lot of money to make. So I wanted to share these with you today. And I wanted to show you the one I had done for my scrap. And move the these to the side. And this is a book marker. Okay. You can mark several pages with this particular one. I used uh, six different ribbons. They're all color coordinated. Because my scrapbooking project, remember, is going to be the yellow, blue, green, yellow, green, and orange, and so forth. And I used the yellow button for the top. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I made those. Now, I made this also. This is blue, blue and white, basically, four ribbon one. And I also made this black one, black black and red this is a smaller one i guess we use this for a smaller book okay and then uh all you need is ribbon button thread and hot glue okay i'm gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna grab my ribbon i already have my ribbon i mean not my ribbon my thread it's a little tangled here let me get this untangled okay I already got my thread uh, on the needle. I already have my knot at the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna grab my ribbon that I'll be using for this particular uh, piece here. Okay, this is the ribbon I'll be using for this one. Okay, this is a pretty ribbon. This is actually all polka knots. This is red, light blue, and yellow. Okay, now this actually color combination this is actually a color triad on the color wheel if you remember from my show i did on color theory a color triad is using three colors that are equal distance on the color wheel and when you look at the color wheel red blue and yellow actually make a triangle okay so i i'm going to use this today to uh to do my um to demonstrate my uh bookmark okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the red lead. I'm going to pick up the yellow, and then it's going to be the blue, okay, in that order. I'm going to put these together, like so. Then I'm going to take the top. Now, one thing I want to mention to you is pink and shears. Make sure you uh, use pink and shears when you cut your ribbon, because other than that, you'll keep fraying and fraying. And the pink and shears have this nice jagged edge. They're great to use. Okay. I already cut that. Now you just uh you just have to measure out how long you want your ribbon to be. Based on I guess the size of your book. Okay, I'm gonna fold this down by about a an inch. Okay? Fold it down. I'm gonna grab my button that I'm gonna use for the front. Now for this particular one you need two buttons. Uh you can use one button if you want to and leave the back bare okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up I'm gonna put my button on like that okay there's my button I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna start threading it from the back okay okay there we go I'm pulling the thread through Take it through again. I do this about three times. Then I'm going to start getting the other button that I'm using for the back put on. Now you don't have to do a button on the back. Okay. Uh, you can if you want to. You don't have to. You can just leave the back plain like that. Okay, but I, I'm putting a button on the back 
for this particular project. Now I have, I don't have another button just like this, but I do have another yellow button like that. It has two holes also. Now this is kind of tricky, okay? Now the string, the leftover string, you want to pull that to the side. Actually, what you may want to do, just pull, pull that to the side for a minute, because we're going to secure that later on. Now, we're going to start threading this through. Now this is the tricky part, getting everything to line up. It just takes a little while to get it to line up. But it, it can be done. It just takes a little while to get everything lined up. Okay? Try to line up that way. Once you get it through there, like I got the guy got it in there. That's the only tricky part to it, is getting every the holes to line up front to back. So you may want to do it without the button on the back. Okay? Now, this is something my mom did years ago, okay? She had made one of these uh, for her Bible that she, you know, she, and she, uh, she used to, she, 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 she used to study the Bible a whole lot years ago, and she used to mark, like to mark different scriptures, so she actually made one of these one year so she could mark several scriptures in her Bible, you know? So it's it's a great for um it's great for it's also be great for like school if you're going to school that way you can mark several pages in your book or you know something like that and just keep threading it through until the t until it feels solid until the button doesn't turn back and forth so I'm gonna put this through a few more times and then when I come back. Uh, we're going to start on um, getting the button uh, secured and getting everything finished. Okay, we're back now. Now, uh, I, I got all, I did all the threading that I'm going to do for now with this, okay? Now, this is the back of it. What I'm going to do is, is pull the thread through the front one more time. Okay? I'm going to pull it through, and I'm going to cut it real low. I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch, okay? This is the front. I'm going to cut it all the way down to it's about a quarter inch sticking up. Okay, like that. Okay, I'm going to put my needle away. All right, now, for this part sticking out here from the back, when you first start it off, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, that has already been tied down. So I'm going to tie it one more. I already tied it three times, but I always like to be very secure in what I'm doing. That way there's no possible way for it to come loose. Okay. So that's why I'm using hot glue also. My mom didn't use hot glue. She just used regular thread and tied it off. And th but this was years ago she had made these. And I still remember it. The color she, I think she used beige and burgundy because the her Bible was like a maroon color, so she used burgundy, beige, and you know colors like that. You know, I, it was it was very pretty. Uh, I wish I still, I wish I knew where it was, but that was a very long time ago. But that's how I, that's how I came up with this idea, because I remember what she did all those years ago. Now I have this, have everything, uh, cut now. I still have this sticking up about. A fourth, fourth inch. You see that? Okay, let me show it this way. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bead. Now, I already pre-selected a red bead that I'm going to be using for this particular project. I just need to grab that bead because of the red on the, because I use a red bead. Okay. Here's the red bead I'm going to be using. I'm going to take a, a dab of hot glue. Just a dab, a little drop. I'm going to put it right there. 
I'm gonna pick up my bead. Just I have to be very careful because that glue is hot. And I'm gonna press that bead right on down onto the the button, making sure to catch that that uh, thread that I left out. Okay, now it might be some glue hanging out. What you can do is you can wait for it to dry and just just pick it off with your fingernail. Whatever is, is is extra sticking out there. Okay. All right. All right, and here we have it. And here's the um the bookmark. Can you see? Now see the thing about I didn't uh that's why I didn't finish it on the, the bottom. I, I pulled the thread, the last of the thread, through the top. And I and I glued it behind here to, to secure it. Now let me grab a book to show you how it's going to look. have a book here. Standard book. Okay. And I'm going to put this here. Watch this now. I'm going to pull this to another page. Okay. I'm going to take that blue and I'm going to put it on another page. Okay. okay. Now look at that. You got three pages marked. You can make this into five like, like this one. This is four. Okay. The one, the one I'm using for my scrapbook, that has actually six ribbons. Okay. This little red one. This is for I'd be like a smaller book, maybe a little paperback. This has four ribbons and it's light for you know a small paperback. And look, you see, you see the little thing sticking up and at the bottom, and you just open your book to the page that you was on, okay? And uh, like I said, these are easy to make. You can even make these and sell them, you know, for profit and so forth. Now another thing I wanted to show you here. I wanted to show you this little heart. Now this can be used as a bookmark too. In fact, I made two of them. Here. This is a little Now this one, I don't know if you can see how well you can see on the camera. This is, uh, this has yellow and orange and green and very pretty, shiny. I cut this out of scrapbook. This one is striped blue, orange, and green. Very pretty here. And what I did is I cut out the heart. I put an eye here, an eyelet, and I tied ribbon. And you can also use these for um, bookmarks. I can put this right here. And look, there it is in the book. So you can open up your book and find your page. That would be, I would use the hearts for maybe um, a smaller book. Now, if you're using a Bible or a textbook, I would definitely use something like this okay but um like i said they're very easy to make they don't cost a lot of money to make and that's the bit that's the most important thing and uh and and uh it didn't take a whole lot of time either well that's all i have for today my name is shan i want to thank you for watching shan for crafts and god bless <laughs>